10 Facts About Rowan Atkinson Mr. Bean Number 1. Rowan Atkinson and Britain's ex-Prime Minister, Tony Blair, were schoolmates at Durham Chorister's School. When he joined the school, Atkinson was 11 years old and Tony Blair was two years his senior. According to the school's former headmaster, Canon John Grove, the two boys were quite opposite in the behavior. While Atkinson was shy and kept to himself, Blair was very outgoing and a model pupil who volunteered for everything. Number 2. Rowan Atkinson has a master's degree in electrical engineering from Queen's College, Oxford. After he received his undergraduate degree in electrical engineering, Atkinson continued studying for a master's of science in the same field at Queen's College, Oxford in 1975. His course of study was the same as his father who graduated from there in 1935. He was also made an honorary fellow in 2006. Number 3. Atkinson suffers from a stammer, so he uses over-articulation, a technique to overcome problematic consonants, for the B sounds. Atkinson turns his stutter problem into a comic device because he over-articulates the sound O of B as he did when pronouncing the name Bob in the episode of Bells in Black out of the second. He had reportedly experienced trouble because of this problem while at school having conversations with his friends. This fatigued and stressed him out. He overcame his stutter as he started acting and stated that it comes and goes. I find when I play a character other than myself, the stammering disappears. That may have been some of the inspiration for pursuing the career I did. Number 4. Rowan Atkinson co-created and co-wrote Mr. Bean, the British sitcom for which he is so famous, while studying for his masters. While in Oxford, Atkinson was asked during his first term to do a sketch that someone might show at the Oxford Playhouse. However, he did not consider himself a writer having never written anything before. He had only 48 hours to create something, and inspiration struck him in the form of a strange, surreal and non-speaking character as he stood in front of his mirror pulling faces. While at Oxford, he also met his co-writer, Richard Curtis, and composer, Howard Goodall, with whom he would collaborate many times throughout his career. He also received national attention in 1976 for his sketches in the Oxford Review, a comedy group featuring Oxford students at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe now considered the world's largest arts festival. Number 5. Though in the beginning of his career Atkinson appeared in several films and shows, he first rose to fame in the BBC comedy show Not the Nine O'Clock News. Not the Nine O'Clock News was a satirical sketch and show about current news stories, pop culture, comedy sketches, and also contained parody songs, re-edited videos, and spoof television formats. It made use a lot of use of library clips, usually of politicians, royalty, and celebrities. It was aired on BBC Two as a comic alternative to BBC's Nine O'Clock News. The show also featured and helped launch the careers of three other comedians apart from Atkinson, Pamela Stevenson, Mel Smith, and Griffiths Jones. Number 6. Atkinson met his ex-wife, Sunetra Sastry, on the sets of Blackadder where she worked as a makeup artist, and has two children with her, Ben and Lily. Sunetra Sastry was Stephen Fry's makeup artist on the set of Blackadder in 1986. According to Fry, Atkinson one day asked him to swap makeup artists. When Fry asked if he didn't like his own makeup artist, Atkinson replied, eh, no, it's not that, she's splendid. In February 1990, Atkinson and Sastry married with Stephen Fry as the best man. Together they had two children, Ben and Lily, and were divorced in 2015 after 25 years of marriage. Number 7. The original name for Mr. Bean was Mr. White. It was then changed to Mr. Cauliflower before settling on Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean's name was not decided upon until after the production of the first program. Before adopting the name Mr. Bean, several other vegetable-based names were considered, but in the end, Mr. Bean was chosen. According to Atkinson, his character was inspired by a character named Monsieur Hulot, who was created by a French comedian and director, Jacques Tati. Just like in the old silent films, the series completely depends on physical comedy making it easier to understand for people who don't speak English. Number 8. 
Despite being such a popular and much-loved comedy show, the Mr. Bean series has only 14 episodes each being only 25 minutes long. All the episodes of Mr. Bean were aired over a span of six years, between January 1, 1990, to November 15, 1995. Apart from the 14 episodes, the series also had a bonus episode aired on December 15, 1995, called The Best Bits of Mr. Bean. It was a compilation episode in which Mr. Bean goes to his loft on a rainy day and reminisces his old adventures from previous episodes. Number 9. Atkinson also played a supporting character in Sean Connery's James Bond movie Never Say Never Again, 1983. Atkinson played a character called Nigel Small Fawcett, a foreign office representative in the Bahamas. When James Bond reaches the Bahamas looking for the villain, Maximilian Lagarde, played by Klaus Maria Brandar, Small Fawcett informs him that Largo was heading for Nice, France. Number 10. Atkinson earned a significant amount of money. His current net worth is about £85 million, approximately $130 million. Atkinson's net worth proves how successful and actor he is, considering he doesn't have a very long list of filmography. Mr. Bean and Johnny English are his highest earning works with a total gross income of $618 million at the box office. In the recent years, he received $16 million from his company Hindmic. He also received more income in the form of his McLaren F1S sale at a market value of $12 million. He also owns several properties in London and other countries.